Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. As we gather this morning to celebrate these sacred mysteries, take a moment to call to mind your own sin, and celebrate God's goodness, love, and mercy. You raise us to new life in the Spirit, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You forgive us all our sins, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You feed us with your body and your blood, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant through the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? Are the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. 
So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading today, uh, we get the story of God establishing the covenant with Abram um, and gives Abram a new name and a new identity as Abraham, the father of faith. Uh, the Lord uh, established this unbreakable covenant of love between God and humanity. Abraham is our representative uh, in accepting that covenant and then gives him uh, the charge that he and his descendants would follow uh, that covenant for he and his descendants. Interesting uh, thought. Abraham was taken on a lot uh, as he agreed to this one. Imagine all of us. Uh, he's responsible. He's the one who's saying yes on behalf of all of us. So we do our best. And yet Jesus comes along and here uh, in the gospel today we see how Jesus establishes this new covenant and gives us an idea of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. So he's very demanding, and he's talking to the people of, of Israel that they need to put their faith in him, that he's the new, he's the sign of the new covenant. He's the one who gives us a clear indication of what it means to be a people of covenant, what it is that God is asking of us. And it's, it comes down to simple things, really. And that is that we need to follow what the Lord Jesus uh, puts out for us. He, we need to follow his example in the way that we live our lives. And as we are in this extraordinary time, it gets a little bit difficult, doesn't it? It's hard to, sometimes it can be hard to maintain that relationship with Jesus, to wonder, what does all of this mean and what, what does all of this mean for me? What am I supposed to do? So the call, I think, as we continue through these days, is to do our best to maintain that connection. And then, if we can, what is it that we can do for others? Sometimes prayer. Maybe that's the best answer for us. Maybe we can, we are in a position to help another safely, uh, to, to assist them with, with some basic needs that they might have all the while keeping a healthy distance. But for us to think about and to pray about this covenant with the Lord, Jesus shows us the way. How do we respond best to that? How do we give ourselves over to him? How do we maintain that relationship with him? And then how do we live it as best we can in the day to day? The Lord establishes this covenant. That covenant, that covenant continues with you and me. Let's ask the Lord to bless us today, always with a sense of his presence, always reminding ourselves of the great love that he has for us, and then to ask ourselves how that calls us to live as his people. And now let us offer our petitions to our loving God. That Christ may continue to strengthen the faith of church leaders in their work of witnessing to the gospel of this land. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That all who are elected to lead nations and peoples may be guided by the just hand of God in all their decision making. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the Holy Spirit may give comfort to those who struggle with chronic illness or pain. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That our Lenten practices may be inspired by Jesus' own prayer and fasting. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may bless our faithful departed and grant them eternal rest with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We add now our own particular individual intentions. And we pray for Jerry Brinkman for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Lord, we come before you with faith and in thanks, and we ask you now to hear us as we pray. Help us always to know of your presence with us and help us to grow in your love and your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. <clears throat> Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us make an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.